I'll tell you my philosophy a little bit. I'm not a very good pickup artist, okay? It's not my strength. I can't go into a set and deconstruct it and have that, have the girls immensely attracted to me or uh, amplify uh, uh, my interaction with them. That's not my skill set. Yeah, I can talk and tell a joke and, you know, I like women. But my philosophy is a little bit different and that is that women are a gift from men to me. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> I believe it. And you should believe it too. It's absolutely true because they wrap them up in little boxes with wrapping paper and little bows and they hand them to you. And let me tell you how that happens. Women were once little girls obviously, right? And they had these dreams. They skipped through the fields picking bouquets of daisies. And they dreamed. And they dreamed. And they had little tea parties with their little animals and their uh, dollies. And what did they all dream about? They dreamt about the prince that they were going to marry someday, and he was going to be riding a white horse. They all had this dream. And what did they get? Al Bundy riding a lawnmower. <laughs> right? At some point in their, in, in their time, from the, that was then, this is now, and at some point, they lost that little girl dream inside them. It got squished into a small little thing inside them that's hidden away. And, and what caused that? Obviously, uh, adulthood, responsibilities, uh, realities of life, but largely men. Men caused that to a very great degree. Okay? But it's still inside them. And all they really want is to have that dream fulfilled. Now, I'm not the guy riding the lawnmower. I'm not the guy driving the minivan. That's not me. But women need that kind of security. Absolutely, they do. But that's not me. I'm the guy that comes along and makes them feel beautiful again. Because they do lose that at some point. They lose that. They, they think that there is no... All those things that they thought about are gone. And it's not true. It's not true. There's a subset of men, a small percentage of men, that move through the land of women, through, among women, with ease. Unencumbered. And we all know that, right? We've seen it. Guys and women just accept. They get away with stuff that most guys can't do. They can touch women and they can, they can, they're just around women and they, and what is it that they have that we don't have? They love women. They absolutely adore these creatures that are out there. Now, too much there's a, a uh, hidden animus, if you will, a bit of misogyny where we think it's us over here and them over there, okay? And now how do we attack this, this body of women? How do we get them to like us? How do we infiltrate the ranks? And so we, we, we think of ways, we try and do things. Um, but there's some guys that just have it, have it, and they just move through the women naturally. And women welcome it, and they do it. And why are we here? Why is everybody here, including me, including all of you guys? We're here because we're dreamers. We're not satisfied with the status quo. We want to improve that portion of us. We want to see what we can become. And if you, 
let's do a little drill here. And I'm not like, I'm not like Steve, wherever he is. <laughs> I don't have the, the intonation. But close your eyes for a second, guys. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to picture yourself. Picture yourself five years from now. I want you to picture what you're wearing. Top to bottom, what are you wearing? How you see yourself? Where are you sitting? You may be sitting on a beach. You may be in Cairo. Maybe you're in, maybe you're in Arkansas with a banjo. I don't know. It's your dream. Don't blame me. You guys are in your dream. See yourself five years from now. And picture the way you would like to see yourself. And who's sitting across from you? What kind of woman is sitting across from you? That is what you have to do every day. You have to envision your future because it only comes from you.